Hey, I'm Dave, and I'm lucky enough to be here with friend and Ultimaker application engineer, Dylan George. And today we're gonna break down the fancy new shiny Ultimaker S7. We are very lucky to have the new Ultimaker S7 just rolled into the studio. Dylan's been using it for a few weeks and we're excited to get a little bit more information on this new machine. What's new about the Ultimaker S7? So we have an integrated air manager. We have an HD camera to keep an eye on your prints. A brand new inductive sensor for better prints and better reliability. A great big door for accessing the entire print volume. Integrated handles for the machine. Brand new Wi-Fi. And a brand new build surface with pre-calibrated bed, no manual bed leveling ever needed. But a flex plate system that's ready for any material. No adhesive needed. Wow, that's awesome. And I think everything Ultimaker's ever done when they launch a new machine has been great iteration on building upon a robust base. So this appears and seems like it's built on an Ultimaker S5. Yeah, so this is just an evolution of the S5. So all the things you know and love about the S5, we got them here, but we made improvements on the entire package. That's great. They took the robust S5, made small iterations to make sure that users can use it more easily and it's more robust with more materials. So the print head assembly still uses the same print cores that you're used to that you already have. It has a, we've reversed the flow of cooling. So we actually have a more reliable, better cooled system. And then we have a brand new inductive sensor. So you get better data, more reliable bed leveling. With the new integrated air manager, you're already set up to print anything from PLA to PC to uh, carbon fiber nylon with this machine. Filters out 95% of ultrafine particles right out of the box. Outside of the appearance of the S7, the thing I notice the most is the flexible build plate. And cracking prints off an Ultimaker is such a satisfying feeling. Being able to switch between materials without worrying about any bed adhesive is a huge advantage. Yeah, so it really all starts from bottom up. So the entire frame underneath is brand new, pre-calibrated at the factory, and you'll notice that on the bottom, there's no grub screws to actually manually level the bed. That's because it's all done during manufacturing. Now, users don't have to manually bed level ever again. So that's all done with the inductive sensor from there. On top of the build assembly, we have the build plate and that flexible build plate system has a slight texture, allows numerous different types of materials to adhere to the bed without any adhesives whatsoever. Fully integrated air manager, air filtration, HD camera, inductive sensor, better cooling, flex plate build system for multiple materials, this is the best, most advanced Ultimaker we've ever created. To learn more about the Ultimaker S7 or to get one today, go to matterhackers.com. <laughs>